Hey guys, what's up? White Triple Three here. <clears throat> um, just got home a little while ago from work. Uh, got a big package here from Nate, Tops 85401. So, I'm going to open this up. Uh, I've kind of spent the last half hour or so talking online with some of my friends. We've been uh, laughing about the whole Ryan Braun incident. Uh, the suspension came down. He's, he's uh, out for the next 65 games, the remainder of the season. Really not a big shock to anyone that follows baseball. Um, kind of waiting to see what other suspensions come down and there's the whole A-Rod talk and lots of other players. Um, I'm kind of interested in seeing what they're going to charge him with, um, what substances and, and I guess how they're able to uh, you know, point him toward this, uh, uh, point him toward being guilty. I haven't seen a lot of details yet, uh, but he said he's not going to fight the charge. So obviously, there must be enough uh, uh, evidence against him. So I don't know. I I don't. My opinion about the whole uh, performance enhancing drugs is, I don't think it's ever going to be really eradicated. I think guys are just using different things now. They're using Substances, substances that come out of their body quicker, a lot of water-based products. Um, so I think the chemists are always going to be one step ahead of the uh, players. I think it's just really, um, I don't know, I hate to say it, but it's part of the game. Uh, especially being a pro athlete, you do, you'll do you do whatever it takes to win. And I I think there's a lot more guys using than a lot of you know average fans think. You know, Ken Seiko, I think, said something like 70%, 80% of players are using an MLB back when he wrote his book. I think it's definitely gone down um, with the testing, but there's still things that guys can use that can clear um, the tests. So um, I guess with that mentality, when you, when you reach that level, these guys are so competitive, they do whatever it takes to win. I mean, even like Bonds, he... Uh, guy was already great and he decided to take a step further and just so guys are never satisfied they're always pushing themselves uh, to be better and better so I guess that's kind of the mentality I think maybe these guys come from so I don't really hold it against the players that are using it um, I think even if you took away the drugs the, the, the guys that are you know performing would still be the best obviously the numbers are inflated a bit but I think as far as baseball players go, a lot of the guys are just using it to stay on the field and have uh, you know more energy and get that mental edge. Like they're not doing it necessarily to pack on tons of pounds, you know, like Bonds was. I Bonds is really an extreme example because his body transforms so much. But look at someone like Braun. Um, he really didn't get much bigger. He just was you know giving him energy and some strength, uh, but. You know, a lot of people here in Milwaukee, you know, that was their, their whole um, thing was like, oh, Bron Bron's not big, so he couldn't possibly be using steroids or drugs. But, uh, you know, that's obviously not the case. Um, you know, whatever you train for, that's what's going to help you with. So I guess that's my little rant or talk about that issue. Brewers, you know, Brewers suck this year, so... Um, it's, I guess it's not really a big loss. We're not going anywhere anyways. So, I guess that's what I have to say about that. So, on a better note, I'll bust this package open. And Nate had uh, sent me a text last week saying he had um, something Bonds related he wanted to send me. It's, uh, it's a Giants... Bonds calendar. I actually have like four or five different Bonds and Giants calendars, but he sent me a pick and surprisingly I didn't have it. So that's really cool. I'm, now that I have my uh, phone, I'm able to uh, kind of step away from the desk and kind of showcase some of my other Bond stuff that's non-card. I think get this calendar out. I was going to uh, 
put this video on my new channel with my phone, but I need to find uh, some some way to kind of set my phone up and sit it down on some kind of flat surface that's going to film okay. This, that was my hardest part is finding somewhere to place my phone and you know start filming. So if anyone has any ideas about how they put put their phone up, I almost need like a little easel or something I can set it up with. So anyways, it's got this sweet camera, it's a nice shot, Bonds. So thanks Nate, this is really cool. Uh, it's, it's not even Giants, it's all Bonds, that's, that's really awesome. Here's a really close up shot here of them. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. You know when he, he first um, messaged me, I was like, well I probably have it. I do have quite a few of them, but I did not have this one. So this is really cool. I'm going to have to go through this later. A lot of nice shots in here. Oh, and he, oh, there's some photos in here too. Nice. He must have took, taken these with his camera at the game. Has that nice home run shot, it looks like. So thanks a lot, Nate. This is really cool. I really like these. Uh, I really like the non-card stuff. Here's another photo of him walking in the outfield, left field, I assume. That's cool. I should. Fr I could frame this up. I really like the the collecting the non-card stuff just as much as the cards, just because some of it's so like oddball, and you really can't put a value on you know a photo or a mug or a cup or whatever, it's it's a collectible. It's you know, you got a lot of people don't collect that stuff. They're mostly cards, but I like collecting it all and um if I find something obscure or you know uh, oddball like that I really enjoy collecting that stuff just as much. So yeah it really means a lot to me. It's just cool. So put this aside. See what else we got in here. Got some cards attached here. Let's make sure I'm not throwing anything else out. Okay. Got a couple stacks here. Alright, got some got some 80s Fleer here. I think he's trying to get me back with the, with the crazy cards. Now I sent him a uh, couple weird stadium club cards I found of Eric Shaw and uh, who was the other guy? I can't remember now. But anyways, so he gives me got Steve Jeltz here with the uh, Jerry Curl going on. 89 Fleer. Nice. And you got a bunch of home run history. Rolled to 500 for A Rod. Said he had some A Rod cards and he said he would send them my way. So, you know, since since I was talking about PEDs already, uh, this is fitting. So you got a whole bunch of roll to 500 cards for A Rod here. There's the old Brian Smith, another uh, 89 Fleer. So, yeah, I have quite a few A-Rod cards. Um, I don't know, I guess we all kind of, a lot of us grew up in the period where we were watching these guys, and, um, you know, a lot of them were, were performance-enhanced players. That's just, I think, part of the culture of the game at that time. And part of it, I think, is just kind of like technology evolving, you know. There's some things to help a guy perform better. They're they're going to use it. Um, so I'm not. I don't really get down on the guys too much. Well, here we go. I got autograph Nate one of one ticket stub. This is from the Stop TriStar Collector Show. April 21st. This must have been the show you made the uh, 
the video of when you're in your car driving, I, I guess. Is that about the same timeline, April? That's cool. I'll put that in my uh, little YouTube uh, binder. I have some sheets too. I know Nate showed off a bunch of his um, YouTube autographs. I don't have nearly a collection he does, but I've been saving them. So I think I'll, I'll hold this little package up to the end. I'll go through this last one here. me a while to get, uh, like, a, I used to be able to name off a brand in a, a, a card year, like, you know, nothing. I just see it and I know exactly what it was right away. But now, since Bond says I've been in any products since 07, I don't really keep up with them as much now, so there's no Bonds cards for me to pull. I don't buy nearly as much product, so I'm not as much of a, a self-proclaimed expert as I used to be. But still buy singles every once in a while of other guys. Matt Joyce, all-star for the uh, Rays in 2010, 2011. It's a gold card. 2011. A few more gold cards. I'm not even going to try to say this guy's name. D-backs. Eric Young Jr. Gold. Remember watching his dad spend a lot of time with the Rockies himself. Yeah, and he's on he's on the Mets now. I saw him play against the Brewers a couple weeks ago. So Brian Roberts, he's, he's an All Star. Another gold. Number twenty ten. Oh, and last but not least, this is a black. J.J. Putz, black, number to 60. That's sweet. J.J. Putz. All right, so I really appreciate that, Nate. Um, really love the photos. Nice calendar. So this will go nicely in my collection. I'm going to have to do a video of some of my uh, bonds, magazines, and make, uh, calendars, etc. So, yeah, if you guys have any uh, ideas about how you set up your phone, if you have a little stand. I've seen some people that have like little uh, easels or whatever they put on their cell phone. That's how they kind of do their videos. So, any suggestions would be helpful. Anyways, uh, rambled on long enough. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.